Okay, it's been a minute and a half and my robot still hasn't cleaned anything um, useful inside my room, um, just around the perimeter. It's great, maybe there, a lot of dust collects in the corners and, and near the wall, but it's not really doing what I wanted it to do, which is to just go around the room cleaning everything. So I'm going to stop it for a second and think about um, different degrees that we could use instead of 90. I could try to use something less than 90 and if I run that, well, it, it just points towards the wall and then gets stuck. Um, we want it to point away from the wall, so maybe anything less than 90 is going to continue pointing towards the wall. 90 points this way, and maybe 100 will point you know, back down away from the wall. So we could try 100, let's see what that does. And we'll move forward. When we see the wall, we'll turn away from it, slightly away from 90. Great, we're starting to trace slightly different arcs. Um, it's not going to go into the same uh, tedious 90 degree turns over and over and over again. So you could find any angle um, between 90 and 180 that would you know, satisfy your particular um, you know, craving for a, 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 a image to show up on the screen or something um, you know there's no really right answer for this um, the only thing I would suggest is um, that we don't really use the same angle every time that we flip-flop between different angles uh, by the way this will happen it's okay um, if you want it to really never never happen uh, we'll need to do some more challenging things and I mean by happening um, robot crashing into the wall a little bit, dragging along until it sees the next side. And that's, that's, gonna, that's gonna happen uh, because of the way we're using the, uh, the distance sensor. The distance sensor is sort of a beam of light that goes directly from the center of the robot and anything in, that it sees in front of it, it will detect. And when we're coming at the wall with a, a wide angle, um, it's, you know, it's harder for the robot to see that. Um, and it won't look like it's less than 80, it would look like it's maybe, um, uh, you know, 100 or 200, like now, you know, it, it came at a slightly wider angle and it didn't see really 80. We can be more careful, we can uh, maybe make this 100, but then the, the smaller we make this also, the smaller, um, the, it, we, won't, we won't really see uh, the wall enough. Anyways, uh, the the further, the bigger the degrees are, um, up until 179, let's say, the more away from the wall you'll be turning each time. But even eventually with that, there's a risk that you'll skid along the wall. That's fine. There, there are ways to avoid it, but we don't really care about that right now. What we do care about is not really ending up with um, something that looks like a pattern. We don't want people to know where the robot's going to go next necessarily. We want it to be a little bit more random. And why? It's because, well, we, we want it to cover as much of the room as possible and not really follow a particular pattern. Um, so if we don't want it to follow a particular pattern, then we want to add some chaos into its, its movement and path. And so the best way to do that is to um, randomize the degrees that we're turning. And sometimes maybe we can turn left and sometimes we can turn right, sometimes we can. Um, in order to do that, we can uh, use the random number generator to add our degrees as a random number. And there's a, uh, that's under operators as well. And it's this big block here that's called pick random. And what we wanna do is pick a, uh, an angle definitely bigger than 90, let's say uh, 100 and definitely smaller than 180, let's say 170. Um, if we wanted to sometimes turn, uh, you know, 100 to 170 basically will be angles that point either this way or this way or this way, uh, almost back where we came from, 170 would be about coming back this way. Um, and if we wanted it to ever go this way, we could, we could pick a random number that's greater than 180 and go this way, or we can tell it to sometimes turn left. But for now, let's just um, keep turning right, but uh, use different uh, angles each time when we get to the wall, and those angles between 110 and 170. Right. Uh, so we're doing the same thing, it's just that instead of always turning 110 degrees, we sometimes turn 170, sometimes turns 110, uh, sometimes somewhere in between 112, 
134, 167, and that's pretty much it. You know, um, once we do that, we really have our Roomba set up. And what I'd like to suggest you try now um, is, first of all, finish this, and second, try to add more randomness. Uh, try to add, you know, uh, some uh, once turn left, the next time turn right. Once turn left, then the next time turn right. And different random angles each time. But once left, once right, once left, right, right. Or you could even pick randomly left or right. Um, and that's a bit of a challenge to do. I'll leave that for you guys to try. Uh, but yeah, basically we want to see the entire wall covered in, uh, the entire canvas covered in green after a while.